Okay, so this is before Retrigger Prologue. And, um, as you can see, I've got six Star Spirit powers seven hours into this file. And we need to do this LZS here. Which is not bad at all compared to some of the crap we have to do for glitch hunting. Anyways, here's where it gets weird. I cannot change my height now at all. So I fell out of bounds because I'm setting up a Cooper Super Jump. And I actually, uh, I have 32 key items right now. So key items are acting like regular items because I don't have any storage for them. Uh, I just messed with the game. I duplicated Ultra Stones and stuff. So now, if I wanted to, I could use this dolly as a regular item. But that's not the goal here, so I'm gonna throw it away. And what I'm trying to do, and which is why this trick is so horrible, is I'm trying to get this dolly over on top of the save block. Which, that was insanely fast. Anyways, now let's do the Cooper Super Jump. Uh, that was all RNG. The way that the dolly goes when I throw it away is random. And I need to keep going up, so I'm increasing at an ins like an insane height right now. And I think this is about right, so I'm going to throw it away, and I'm going to start falling. So this happens. So uh, this is how you re-trigger Prologue and kill Junior Troopa. So now the whole game is back to the beginning. Give it a sec. We're good. Hey, what's up, Nas? And Icky, how you guys doing? Okay, so I have to be very careful to not open menus right now. But I'm also pretty sure... Yeah, you can get save block storage with this. Which is pretty cool. So, uh, that is a thing that exists. Yeah, this is some 2015 Paper Mario technology. Anyways... I want to do this. Um, you can also do baby partners in that room because of save block storage there. But uh, yeah, now we are in, we are back in prologue. You can tell because this block is normally not here when prologue is uh, is over, but it came back because I retriggered. And I mean, um, yeah. So I mean, like this is a pretty horrible trick, but it took me a very long time to set up. I'll show you guys why. You see these? These are the amount of times I had to play through Chapter 5 today. On top of that, I had to grab the first degree cookbook. Oh, I also have two buckets and two scarves because I felt like playing Chapter 7 twice. Um, I have a dubious note from the Shy Guys, all the letters, an artifact, uh, some weird video that Goompa had, a mailbag, a red jar of unknown origin, and a silver credit. So yeah, this is how you retrigger prologue. So because we did that, that means that we are about to enter the cutscene with uh, where Goompa opens the gate and there's a cutscene where he gives you power jump and everything. So this is how that goes. This is, uh, kind of a paradox right here. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I don't understand what this is right here. Gumbario asks me a question. And, I mean, I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what it is. But I said no to it last time, so... I guess I'll say yes? Oh, it's her dolly. That's what it is. Okay. So, yeah. I see, and uh, and speedruns we skip getting the dolly, so I forgot that even existed. Anyways, I got a kiss. So here's a uh, Goompa Goombario, who's gonna give me another power jump. And I don't want to take your tutorial, sir. Alright, great. So, we got a second Goombario, which has no effect, it's just the same Goombario. 
Um, it's because the game is trying to play the animation of Goompa talking or being upset or something. He does some animation in this cutscene. And Goombario doesn't have the same animation assigned to that number, so he just does a weird one. So, alright, now we've got all this. Uh, yeah, Goombario is still ultra ranked. I also activated this pipe, so if I want to, I can just skip all of Prologue, basically. Hey, how's it going, Bob? Um, yes, that is the same animation as when Paracarry gives the invitation to Peach's party. Alright, so as much fun as that was, I'm gonna reset. I do have a file past the retriggers, so we're still good there.